Okay, here's Anna and Tiffany. We just finished talking to to Letterman Joseph about his dream for what's here. And uh, this is uh, my beloved daughter Tiffany and her partner in crime. There's no crime here. We're just joking. She, she just got out of prison. No, I mean, oh, no, no, she's not. She's not. But she's from, this is Anna from Emmett, Idaho. She's part of the Grace Incorporated mission here in, in uh, Grand Plain. Tiffany, how many, tri how many trips has this been for you here? It's been, this is my fourth year coming. What was your first impression, you think, when you got here the first time? Just off of your head. I didn't know what to think. It was different and kind of cool. Just exciting for me. And I loved it. So that's why I'm coming back. <laughs> I noticed that you have a real good relationship with the children around here and they really love it. Well, I love them too, so it works out pretty good. We, um, these children um, don't have a lot of um, hope sometimes, and so I come and um, play with them, give them love, and, and you show them the hope in Jesus Christ. Exactly, and you, you, that's a hope that they can look forward to and carry on. So only after you had a, only then can you know his laws. And uh, I would say that love your neighbor as yourself is a, is a really good law. And what I've seen around here is that I've seen children loving their, loving each other. You know, they sharing things that they had. You know, and uh, what did you know? What else, What was? What's the impression of the countryside around here? Do you think? The impression, like. Of what? Touristy your impression. <laughs> what they think of us? No, what you think of the country. Oh. <laughs> um, it's different than the United States. Kind of reminds me of like just the old fashioned living way of living. It's pretty just, rustic, the way, um, you know. Our, uh, there's farming, uh, we don't have irrigation here, and there's you know, so many things that uh, they don't have. Tell us how they bring the water up. Uh, they have a well that's not, it's pretty close, but it's around here. Um, they have to go walk down a hill and go get the well and then with a bucket of water and then bring it back up on their head and carry it on their head. Up. So all the water that, for the showers and everything that I filmed earlier back there is carried up, up here? Yeah, they're all carried up by some people around here. But what do you think about Letterman's idea for the pump and the and everything? I think that's a good idea. We need something like that here and people to help us with that. And volunteers to you know work with us um, with that. And that will, if the the people who see this video, you think that this that will help uh, bring awareness of this a basic need of water and sanitation. Yeah, there's always a need in Haiti and other places, but um, they need clean water. Um, that's something that we take advantage, take for granted over in America because we have flowing water all the time and we just don't think about it. But um, it's something that they would, they need here. Yeah. And you plan on coming back in the future? The Lord willing. I think you will. And I thought your lesson on Noah was pretty good. They had they had a really good uh, rep, rep, you had a really good repertoire with the children there, and there. And uh, one impression Anna that helped me with that too. Yes, she did. Anna's been working hard over here, although she doesn't like the tea. <laughs> no, they, the tea it's kind of a rough thing, but what it'll do is help help you from getting getting uh, diarrhea and other ailments in your stomach. And if you do get an upset stomach, it will it will. Uh, It'll cure that really fast, but the taste is is much to be desired in there. And what's the ma what, what's the major uh, crop here in in Grand Plain? Corn. Corn. There's a lot of. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this, yeah, that you've seen growing so far. All I see is corn, corn around here, and a lot of like coconut and mango and bananas. Bananas. Yeah, that's definitely your thing there, bananas. What's your impression? Uh, of the since you got here, what did you what have you thought so far? Oh, it's very different. <laughs> yeah, something to get used to, but it's nice here. It's yeah, yeah, and the people really love you. They've already taken to you in there. And then, very good, good people. 
Okay. Well, Tiffany has more lessons plans. Her and Anna have lesson plans that they're going to be doing, and we're uh, what uh, we're going to be moving from this village uh, tomorrow into another one that none of us have. Uh, well, this is my first time here, but uh, we're going to be moving to another village. And what, Davi? Uh, ha, what's your lesson plans in general? You don't have to go into in no, money. We're doing the same thing over with Noah's the children, lesson. The Noah, but uh, since we only have a day, it's going to be a little shorter. Okay. But, I just split it here in two days. Um, what do you think the what do you what do you the, think the main message for them in, that the story of Noah has to offer? What do you think the main message is? The main message is that God created all of us, and we all have a part in His creation, and He values each and every one of us. And His promise to us is that um, not only like He won't destroy you know the earth, and that's the promise of the rainbow but also we can have a relationship with him through Jesus Christ and you know the the uh, the when I had came came down here I knew I was the, the task that I was sent one of them the main one I've accomplished and uh, it was uh, for all of you who who do watch this movie the uh, Tiffany's original faithfulness and to uh, apply the, law, the laws of God in her life paved the way to bring me here eventually and also paved the way for the the anointing of the pastor David, who was the man in red that I was supposed to find, and I did. And the message for David was from God was uh, was Amichad Adonai Echad, one God, one people, which essentially is the same lesson that you gave to the children back there in a way that they could understand. And so, do you think there's any coincidences in God's kingdom? No, I don't. Exactly not. God well, has a plan for all of us. He really does. And uh, let us all endeavor to be lights shining in the darkness. Amen.